Hey folks, welcome back to more Let's Play Run 1 Half Hard Battle. Let's fight Shampoo, who I'm sure is going to be misnamed. She's called Bamboo, awesome! I forgot to mention, this is not exactly the best ROM I could find of this game. It's... the names are... everything else is fine, but the names are, are, are mysteriously wrong. It, it might be a European release, not totally sure. Stop kicking my ass, Shampoo. Get my bearings. She won't keep kicking my ass. And she kicked my ass. Okay. Shampoo is a Chinese Amazon of impressive strength and ability. She's also batshit insane and obsessed with Ranma. And engaged to him due to Amazon law. also tricky to beat. Or maybe I'm just sucking at this game. I used to be much better, but I haven't played in a long time. But I still enjoy this game, despite how questionably bad it is. But I've played worse. Much worse. So I should stop complaining. Yeah, take that. So due to Amazon Law, by whoever... Ah, oh, I just died. Oh, ah, oh, crap. Okay, you're going down next time, you purple-haired floozy. Ah, poor Rodba. Okay, we're going back in. So due to Amazon law, by beating someone in combat, you're engaged with them. So Shampoo's a main character and a cause of cause of much conflict for Ranma. Recovery time is horrible in this game. Everything will have you covering for a long time. Ah. Uh. jump shallow, it tends to prioritize over just about every move in this game, breaking it thoroughly. Male Ranma has a roll kick that just about breaks everything and has priority over every other move in the game. You can just roll kick your way to victory. Which I could roll kick my way to victory. Also, I didn't mention the other curses. Ranma's not the only one. Shampoo turns into a cat. Which is, which is very bad for Ranma because he has a phobic fear of cats. Because again, his dad is an asshole who threw him into a pit full of nothing but cats when he was a child and the cats scratched the hell out of him, traumatizing him forever. Seeing, now he sees cats as, as evil, horrible things. Which is actually really hilarious. But she becomes a cute little pinkish cat. And Moose, who is in love with Shampoo, but Shampoo hates him because he thinks he's pathetic and creepy, he turns into a duck. A duck wearing glasses. But still has hidden weapons, so he's one of the only, like, animal cursed people, English good today, people cursed people who turned into an animal that actually has some level of danger, even when he's not in his human form. So good for him. And here we have Adeline uh, Akane. Akane uh, is Ranma's main fiance, the one he was really promised to. She's a tomboy, and they they hate, quote-unquote, hate each other, and argue a lot. Meaning that they totally don't like each other at all. And she's also the other main character of the series, and their interaction is, is basically everything that revolves around the series. Them sort of liking, hating each other and the interaction of jealousy of all the people that love Ranma, and Nakane's massive list of men that love her, too. It's a Mary Sue, Gary Stu of epic proportions. And that's the way Ranma works. That's a Mary Guri kid. It's good for you.
and she's really not that hard, because she's not that strong in the series either. She only can really beat up weaklings, guys that can't really fight that well or don't want to fight her dumb with her full strength. And in this game, she's kind of pathetic. She just charges into you and you just throw her. She's a lot better in the follow-up game. Which I might, I might LP that too, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how this goes. Because this is already taking a bit longer than I thought, and why is Akane credit for English class? That, But I'm analyzing this game way too much. So here we have Gambling King. I know nothing of him except he appeared in one Christmas special way, way ahead of the time he appeared in the animated series. So no one knew who the hell he was. In America, anyway. Yeah, that's a cheap blast. It's, it's kind of worthless, so I don't really use it very much. I mean, if it hits, it hurts. But it's just... Maybe I just suck with it. Yeah, see? Awesome. However, I still prefer the, the tried and true method of just punching everything rapidly. Whoa. This game has no air blocking. That's way too advanced a concept for this game. But you really need it, because I won. Yep, I know nothing about this guy, so I have nothing to say other than he has gambling theme attacks, which is odd. And he's really not hard at all. See? We're almost done. Haha, <laughs> gambling pun. We're not seeing the rest of that. This is Genma. This is Ronma's dick dad. He turns into a panda, and it's all his fault that they're cursed. Because he's the one who thought it was a brilliant idea to do martial arts training over the cursed springs of Jusenkyo. So they both fell in. And he's a panda. In his normal form, he's kind of a bald man with glasses and a bitter expression on his face. But he's more interesting as a panda. Wish my dad was a panda. That'd be all kinds of kick-ass. Parent-teacher's night would be the best thing ever. And he's throwing me. He's actually really strong and really dangerous, so I'm using speed to my advantage here, because he has one move that can end the game instantly. It's a grab move that will just... and if he catches you with it, Oh, the first Panda Fist is pretty bad, but if he catches you with that move, it's it's just over. Put the controller down. And he did not do it. Good for me. And pandas don't talk. Genma holds up signboards. They convey his thoughts. Shut up, Ranma. It's real good. The Viz dub had him voiced by Michael Donovan. That was awesome. You might know him as Guile from the uh, USA Street Fighter series. With his frequent cries of No! And Bison! So his shrill, shrieky, angry voice was perfect for Ryoga's temper tantrums. He's also considered Ronma's greatest rival. He's uh, freakishly strong, even that umbrella he holds weighs like a couple hundred pounds. And he's pretty relentless. And he wants revenge against Ranma because uh, Ryoka turns into a cute little black pig. And it's Ranma's fault that he fell in because Ranma kind of dickishly kicked him in there. Way years ago, after he was turned into a girl. Stop spamming, you dick. I'm gonna die here because of, because of cheese. Not... Okay, I'm dead. So he has a rivalry of hating Ranma forever, yet kind of being his friend and whatnot. And as a black pig, he's also Akane's pet. Akane is too dumb to realize that the black pig wearing the obvious Ryoga bandana is Ryoga, despite what Ranma claims. And he's also in love with Akane for some reason. Because everyone's gotta be in love with somebody in Ranma. So despite being horribly strong, he's also quite dumb and easily tricked. So Ranma can usually beat him, even though he really shouldn't because Ryoka is a freak and really shouldn't be beaten by normal men. He's basically Knuckles. 
Yeah, that's the perfect analogy. Ryoga is Knuckles. And I guess Brahma would be Sonic. Hey, that's everybody. Alright, we're stopping here. When I come back, we're taking on the final bosses. So, later.